Okay guys, so it is, what time is it? It's like 12? Yeah, it's like 12 something. And, <clears throat> excuse me, I am going to go wash my car. I'm also going to vacuum it out because it does look like crap right now. So I'm very excited for that. It's always like one of my favorite things to do is just clean out my car, especially when I'm feeling like crap. Not that I feel like crap right now because I think I mentioned this to you guys before, but my mood tends to wax and wane with the weather a lot of the times. So generally if it's sunny out, like I'm super duper happy. So anyways, I'm gonna go and do that. I also wanted to run to Staples and get some more of those small mini Pilot G2 pens. Maybe, I don't really wanna do another color aside from black, but I wanted to see if maybe they have them in the .5. Sweetheart, I don't think you can drive like any slower. Come on, stop staring at me, weirdo. Oh, Jesus. Okay. So, anyways, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm gonna do that, and then I'm going to swing by Walmart and grab some groceries. I don't need too much, so I don't see why I shouldn't be able to stay within my $20 budget, but you never know. You never know. So I'm also going to end up picking up my prescription because they have that on autofill. I don't even know which one it is, but it is on autofill. So whatever, can't really complain. Oh, it's a puppy. Oh, it's a puppy with a sweater on, that's so cute. So anyways, that is the game plan. Definitely a late start today. Obviously a lot later than I would like it to be, but you know, it happens. So I think I might actually swing by the ATM real quick just because I don't know why, but I get the feeling that I'm going to try to buy a whole bunch of crap that I don't actually need. So instead of using my credit card, like I always do, because I love using the cash back rewards. I'm gonna try to use cash this time. So we shall see how this goes. And like I mentioned before, I'm gonna try to do more of the whole Dave Ramsey thing. And obviously I'm ill-equipped right now because I do not have all of my categories solidified at this moment, but I think it'll be okay. I think it's gonna be just fine. So anyways, I will talk to you guys later on. Okay guys, so I just got out of the car wash and I'm trying to think of where I wanna go because there is a Staples that is closer to my apartment, but I'm thinking I might go to the next town over where I don't normally do my grocery shopping because there's a Staples like in the same plaza as the like Super Walmart. So I think I might just do that. Although if I'm being honest, where I normally buy my groceries, they have the exact same thing. But I don't know. I kind of want to switch it up a little bit today. So I think I might go to the next town over. But the good thing about the car wash that I go to is that they let you use the vacuums for free as long as you pay for the car wash. So that's, you know, really nice. You get pretty much, in my mind, two for the price of one. Unfortunately, though, they upped the price by a dollar. So it used to be $6 for just the most basic wash, and now it's 7 if you have an SUV. So, unfortunately, I have been blessed with an SUV, but that's okay because Aggie is a good man and he's gotten me through a lot of stuff in the past year. So, I've officially had this car for a year now, which is like 
unbelievable. I can't believe that I've had Aggie for that long. And I know some of you guys are new to my channel, so you're like, why did you name your car Aggie? So last year, when I saw my old car, I think I might have explained this before, but my old car was a 2004 Honda CRV. I know what am I saying? Wow. My first car was a 2005 Honda CRV. My second car, which is the one that I got rid of last year to get this one, was a 2004 Acura MDX. There we go. And I named him Agador Spartacus after Hank Azaria's character. He plays the maid in Birdcage. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I love that movie. I don't watch it too often, but I love that movie just because it's you know just so ridiculous so my favorite character in there is obviously the maid and his name is Agador Spartacus so that's what I named my car and when I got this car I just kept the name because I was like well you know I don't really think there's another name that suits him so for short I call him Aggie and that kind of also ties into the fact that I'm from Houston because you know Texas A&M, Giga Maggie's, which I'm not a huge fan of Texas A&M or any school in Texas, if I'm being honest, but you know, whatever. It has something to do with home, so whatever, but I actually found, well, I shouldn't say I found that car wash place because it was actually my ex-boyfriend who introduced me to it. And I've just been going there ever since just because it's so much cheaper than like going to Sheets. And I remember when I first started living here, it was so difficult for me to find like a decent car wash or to find like a gas station with a car wash at all. And I think a lot of that is because the gas stations around here are pretty old and you know, none of them have like built anything on or they just don't have them. So it took me a while to find an actual, you know, car wash, as sad as that is. So anyways, I, I'm i just gonna run probably to Staples first so that the food doesn't go bad. I'm only thinking of getting like three things, but I might just, not get eggs this week and just wait till next week. But I feel like every time I hold off on buying them, I always eat more of them. And I'm just like, I love how that works. So after that, I think I'm done running errands aside from picking up my prescription, which I should have done that first, but yeah, whatever. I didn't do that because I didn't want to have to wait that long. So you know, once upon a time when I worked in a pharmacy, I still remember like all the busy times that they have. And obviously going around noon is never a good idea. So I'm gonna try to go a little bit later, probably on my way back home. But anyways, my car is, I wouldn't call it squeaky clean, but it's clean enough. I can at least say that. So I was, <coughs> excuse me, thinking of maybe going like to a town that's a half an hour away from me just to do some grocery shopping there. But I don't know, it's a trek to get out there. It's a trek to get home. And by the time I do get home, I'm normally exhausted. So I think I'm just gonna keep it simple today. I might venture out tomorrow because I still have a list of places that I want to explore, like in the areas surrounding me. So I've been kind of bad the past couple weeks. I haven't really been doing like any of that. So, and I think a lot of that is just because I feel awkward, like trying to go to restaurants by myself. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm definitely one of those people where it's like, I will completely avoid going out to dinner by myself because I don't have somebody with me. 
and <clears throat> excuse me it's not so much that it's like I don't have the confidence to it's just my social anxiety is bad like especially in those situations and I don't know I just feel like it would be awkward like the whole time so whatever but anyways I will check in with y'all later okay guys so I just got out of Staples and I went in I grabbed a couple of things like more than just the little mini pens that I wanted so the first thing that I got was this and it's a badge holder so it's rubberized which I kind of like I haven't had to replace my badge yet and I've been there a little under a year and a half so that's pretty profound at least to me and I do keep an or a little night eyes s clip on there this is the like what I use on all of my keys so let me show you guys really quickly you can see it like on here like I have my knife attached to it which by the way this is the Cricut Tigue Tig 2 Tig Tac 2 that's what it's called right there I don't know how to pronounce that but that's what it is and these like little clips I absolutely love you can find them at Lowe's Amazon I think they also have them at Home Depot but I bought like a million of them a couple years ago and it's like all I use for my keys and you can see I also have it on my actual car key so I wanted one like a badge holder for my badge for work because thankfully I don't have to scan it but I hate the picture that they took of me because I wasn't ready and also I look like a potato they took it on my very first day that I was there and I've dropped like four pant sizes since I started but I wanted one like something to kind of protect it just because it has got like gotten really banged up recently and just with all the stuff that I do so thankfully we don't have to scan it we just have to like tap it against this little thing by the door and you know it lets us into the building so that's pretty nice and then let me I might share with you guys there's like all these people I don't know why apparently people don't have anything to do except come to Staples on their days off so I got some of these Avery 8 tab insertable style edge plastic dividers and what I'm gonna use these for is actually to make update it like an updated version of cash dividers for my wallet I also got a ginormous two inch binder I love these staples better binders and I'm gonna put my stickers in there because keeping them in a shoebox is driving me insane so I did get those as well and then I got some little brads to fasten everything together because I think that's going to be the best bet because with staples, like actual staples, I'm not talking about the store, I don't see that being a very viable option over time. So I went ahead and I picked up four, yes, four of these. They're the Pilot G2 Minis. And these are what I've been using in my Holborn. Love, love, love those. So, all of that is done. I thought about going into Hobby Lobby, but that's generally a bad idea anytime I do. But I think I told you guys that I ordered this dishwasher magnet. And it's funny because the reason why I wanted one in the first place is because one of my favorite YouTubers talked about getting one and she has it and it looks really cute the only thing though is that she recommended it from the same store that I bought it from and I'm like 
mm, girl, you might want to reconsider that. So I did contact the store, but at this point I'm kind of just like, give me my $11 and whatever the hell cents back and I'll just go into Hobby Lobby, buy some crap and make it myself. So that's kind of what I'm thinking right now. Cause I mean, let's be real. It's not that difficult. So I think I might just do that. All right. I think, yeah, I think I'm going to make that happen. So Hobby Lobby is like right, maybe like three stores down and can't be that difficult. What do I need? I need some, um, like what, like a magnet for the back of it, which is fine because I have super glue that I normally use for cuts on my hands. And yes, I know you're not supposed to do that, but hey, I work with my hands all the time. Really, Aggie, really. If I go anything over five miles an hour, he starts dinging because I'm not wearing my seatbelt. So there's that. And then obviously I'm just gonna need some paint. Hopefully I can find a ceramic tile. And then, uh, you know, like a brush or something and then I should be in business so yeah I don't need you and your shitty customer service cuz guess what I can just DIY I don't want to DIY this because I have a lot of issues with like letters and painting like I can't really ever make it look good but I'm going to maybe get some stencils up in there and we will see what happens. So anyways, wish me luck y'all. I'm gonna go try to find this and then I'm gonna finally head into Walmart, get the crap, run away, go home, pretend I have a life and yeah, that's about it. Okay guys, so I'm gonna leave the sunglasses on so I apologize if it's like, oh my God, it's a mirror. So, I just got out of Hobby Lobby and, wow, that's a weird receipt. Just got out of Hobby Lobby and I did not find any ceramic tiles, so I would have had to go to like Home Depot or Lowe's for that. And I don't feel like making that trek. Not today, not tomorrow. I'm just gonna see what happens with the stupid dishwasher magnet because as I was in there thinking about all the crap I have to get in order to make that thing, I was just like, nope, don't wanna do it. So I got some of these for Mochi because he loves these. Then again, I feel like every toy that I give that cat, he's like obsessed with it. Like even the donuts, I crocheted some donuts like last year. Sorry, I got a dirty dashboard, black shows everything. I crocheted some donuts last year because originally they were going to be for my best friend as like a joke because she loves donuts so I actually had like a Dunkin Donuts box like a clean one that I had them in and I was going to give it to her as a joke for Christmas but I never did because I was just like I didn't, I didn't feel like making the rest of them <laughs> so I was like well you can just use them as maybe like a cat toy and that is exactly what I ended up doing. My dashboard is apparently disgusting as well. I don't even know what's on here. Sorry guys, I'm a filthy animal. <laughs> but Mochi absolutely loves these and they're pretty cheap. It was like two bucks for like this whole pack. At Petco or PetSmart, they charge like, just for four of these that are a little bit bigger, it's like four bucks. I'm like I'm not paying for that. So instead of the little brads that I was originally going to use, okay, I'm sorry, I got to put the sunglasses back on. I'm going blind over here. So instead of the brads that I bought from Staples, I'm actually going to be using rivets. And I got the one that has a setter with it. So you can see it does have like the gold and the silver. And then you can see it does have the setter. So, cause you know, you need like a hard surface to put it on to, you know, get it to be in the material. So I'm planning on working on this when I get home because I want to make sure that I have my cash envelope crap ready to go 
and I still have not purchased any groceries. So yeah, and then the last thing that I got was this, and I thought it was so cute. So it was like 40% off, and the lady almost didn't give it to me for 40% off. I guess she was a little confused. So I mentioned, I was like, um, I think that's on sale. And she's like, oh, I can't tell. I'm just like, okay, whatever. Just please give me the sale price because I'm not paying like 25 bucks just for that. So that is going to go in my entryway. Right, not behind the door, but you know, like a little bit more off to the side. I don't want it like in my face when I walk into my apartment. So I'm going to put it on the opposite wall where like the door is actually hinged. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, I think, I think that'll be good. going to put mail in there because I have a terrible problem with just leaving my mail on the ground, especially if it's like coupons or like crap I don't use or junk mail. And I'm trying to be better about picking this stuff up, but I'm not. So, you know, that's how it is. Okay, sweetheart, you are not even looking behind you. Like, what are you doing? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Loki had a heart attack there. So anyways, I am just about now going to go into Walmart. It's almost three o'clock. Wait, it's almost four o'clock. Sorry. See, daylight saving time, you know, I get it. World War II was a good idea. Maybe. I don't know. I wasn't alive. I don't know these things. But now I really don't like the idea of it. And a lot of that is just because it throws everybody off, throws everything off, throws off your circadian rhythm. And you just, ugh, it's just, it's never fun. So the other thing is I don't like going to work in the dark. So I wish that we could just keep whatever time we're at with daylight savings time and never, you know, fall back, if you know what I'm saying. Because personally, I do not like to go to work in the dark. I know I have to be at work at 530 in the morning, but if I can see just a little bit of the sun before I go into work, that means like everything to me. Like, I don't think you guys understand because... I, if I could really tell you why, like really explain it, you would totally understand, but I can't. So anyways, let me go to Walmart, stop spending all my damn money, and let me actually buy the things that I came here to buy, and then I'm going to go home and pretend not to be a hobo. I've actually done pretty well with all this spending, though, I think. So... Obviously, you're going to have to, you know, get that in check a little bit more. But it's okay. Baby steps, y'all. Baby steps. Hey, guys. So, it is like 7-something o'clock on Tuesday night. And I meant to film something this morning for you guys. You know, like a little clip for this vlog. But I didn't end up doing that just because I was kind of preoccupied with moving my room around for literally half the day. So, a little bit of background for you guys. I love to move furniture. I love figuring out the different configurations that certain rooms can have with all the pieces of furniture and it's just one of those things that I really enjoy and I always have ever since I was a little kid. Like I've been rearranging my room I think since I was like six years old. So this is nothing new for me. But I really kind of felt like I have too much stuff which I know is true and I'm trying to work on that. But at the same time... I felt like all the things that I own were kind of like enveloping me, kind of, you know, making me feel like the way a person feels when they live in a home with a hoarder. And I know that's a really bad comparison, but 
you can always see on TV like how chaotic it feels in that environment and that's how I felt. So I went ahead and I got rid of my desk. Now my desk wasn't anything special. It was a six foot long lifetime table from, you know, Costco and it's literally just a table. So the thing is, is like, I love it, but at the same time, all it ever did was get a whole bunch of crap put on it. And that was it pretty much. Never really, you know, actually use it anymore unless I'm doing planner stuff. But even then, I'm not really into doing it a whole lot. I will you know, decorate my pages from time to time, but I feel like I'm not as in the thick of making things in terms of planner stuff as I used to be, which is okay because, you know, you're always going to be at a different point in your life at some time, you know, some time. So I think I saw something on Facebook a while ago and it was like, you know, you're an adult if your bed is in the center of your room. And I'm like, oh my God, like it is official. The metamorphosis is complete because my bed, I tried to get it as dead center as possible in my room. And I have like a little scroll work thing that I found at TJ Maxx last year that I absolutely love, mainly because it has fleur-de-lis all over it. But I made sure that that was dead center on the wall as well. <laughs> So it just feels really good. And all the stuff from my desk, I actually put on my giant wire racking that I have shared with you guys before. If you're interested in seeing that, I have a video that talks about like how I have all my crafting stuff organized, which if I'm being honest, is really not that organized, but you know, I do what I can given the circumstances. And if I'm also being honest, this is really going to be a push for me to buy a house, hopefully within the next two to three years, because I do not enjoy not having enough space. Now, some people might argue, well, maybe you just have too much crap and you don't have to tell me twice. I know I do. I'm working on it. And I'm trying to, you know, have the great purge come back, which that is a little insensitive that I call it that, but history nerd. So, so anyways, that's just kind of where I'm at right now. And this feels so good. I want to chase this feeling forever. And like I said, this is obviously motivation for me to work on a down payment for a house. The only bad thing, I think I mentioned this to you guys before, is that houses around here are very old. From what I've seen, a majority are built anywhere from like the 1920s to the 1960s. And... I've never purchased a house before, but I've lived all over the Midwest and in Texas like three or four times throughout my life. And as far as houses are concerned, I may not know about the actual process of buying one, but I sure as hell know what I'm looking for. Like, obviously I want a garbage disposal and, you know, it's interesting because my best friend's boyfriend was like, well, you know, those aren't really that common. And I'm like, yeah, it's probably not that common because all these people live in dinosaur homes. Like you can put in a garbage disposal in like half an hour. My dad's done it before. I mean, plumbing is really not that difficult. I've had to completely take apart a sink before and had to completely gut it because the roommates that I had at the time kept shoving food down there and it kept getting clogged. So I literally sat there and I had like lettuce and unmentionables spilling all over me 
just because I was trying to, you know, get it unclogged. So, thankfully I haven't had to do that since Italy, but, you know, it's always, it's always fun to kind of do that kind of stuff. It's disgusting, but it's fun. Get to play Tim the Tool Man. So, that's just kind of where I'm at mentally right now. It's going to be weird for me to not have a desk because I love having a desk. I've never not had one, at least from what I can remember, like basically since the age of eight up until, you know, now I've always had one and now it's not going to be the same. So it's going to be interesting for me, I think, to keep up with my planners but have to shuffle everything back and forth from my dining room table. But, oh, buddy. You okay? Like I said before, Mochi is sick. So, he does have a vet appointment on Monday. Poor buddy. So, anyways. I really like where this is going. And I think <laughs> when I do, like when I am finally able to buy a house, I'm probably going to need at least three bedrooms because I want one of them to be a guest room, obviously, just because, you know, when my parents come to visit or like if my brother comes to visit me, you know, maybe my best friend, whoever, I just want them to have their own area and then, obviously, I'm going to need an entire room just for my crafting and my desk and that type of stuff. Right, bubs? Yeah. So, I think I mentioned this to you guys before, but I really feel like I'm in a new chapter in my life since I hit 25. And maybe part of that is I'm just like, holy shit, I'm 25. But it feels good, you know? It feels really good. I feel like my level of maturity is a lot higher than it was, which is funny because pretty much everybody that I know in my family is like, oh my God, you've always been so mature. And I'm just like, where? So yeah, but tomorrow is basically like a Sunday for me. So I'm going to just be doing like meal prep meal planning, whatever, and then, you know, gonna be going back to work, and the cycle repeats itself. So anyways, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Okay, so I am currently trying to purge some of this planner stuff like stickers and things like that because let's be real I've gone a little too ham with purchasing those I'm gonna keep all the happy planner ones just because I love them so much but ones that are like <clears throat> the little kid stickers I'm gonna try to probably donate those or you know maybe I'll just take them to work and just start giving them to people I don't know something along those lines one thing that I wanted to mention though is I know I told you guys that I am trying to afford a house right now, but what I didn't bring up is I signed up to be a driver for Postmates. So we're going to see how this works out. I wanted to do Grubhub, but I've tried to submit an application to them for the past almost year like it's been like seven or eight months and I didn't enter in all the information so basically they think that I have an application that I started and I tried emailing them and nobody ever responded to me so I can't really apply for Grubhub I don't really want to do Uber Eats just because yeah so I figured I would try Postmates. So we'll we'll see how this works out. I thought about like doing grocery shopping like for people like instant cart, 
but, or sorry, Instacart, whatever. And I don't know. I don't really like the idea of that. So pretty much what I'm thinking is all the money that I'm going to be making from Postmates, however much that's going to end up being, I'm probably going to put that towards like a specific house fund and then I'm just going to keep, you know, shoveling in the normal amount of money into my savings. So we shall see how this works. Very curious to see, but just wanted to throw that out there.